All right. Oh, this place sure looks different at night. Booyah! Oh my god. Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. <laughs> like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you were absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my hammer. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the blades. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Uh... Chaos Theory? Didn't you say that it was all about Chaos Theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. <sighs> oh wait, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Oh yeah. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. You didn't get him Dude, expelled. Do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? You got him suspended, which is not good enough. Uh, let's see here. Was Kate? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel, like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott. Hmm. Yep. Of course. They're both sociopaths. More like psychopaths. <laughs> the Blackwell security officer even hits his own stepdaughter. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... <laughs> Kicking it, just as I was thinking. Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We I have don't to know. find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Yeah, yeah. You step bricks. You no, are such a You can school at night. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in crime, we start for own fear. <laughs> you know, I was so ready to explore, and then she just fucking scares us out of nowhere. So much for helping me. Who the fuck is that? Hopefully, the rest of the class will follow your lead. Sorry, I was distracted. Uh, As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. You ass face. You? Well, how does this affect the everyday heroes contest? It doesn't. It affects you if not winning. And I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. You kiss ass. I've got all the photos except one from Max. I'll give you a one word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? No. Speak to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favorites or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... <laughs> There's a pun in there somewhere that I just can't figure out. Something about Chase. 
you know. So stupid. What's the matter? Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. <laughs> She's about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. But someone needs to hurry up and submit their s photo, not selfie. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, I, I don't know what, what to think about her. Yeah, she seems like she's all sad and depressed, but she's just being manipulative in an ass face so she can, I don't know, sound like she's sorry, but she's really not. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted, like you did with the weed. Oh, I'm man. serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? You get charges for just entering. <laughs> I'm serious. You could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell Security. Oh, Steph, sweet. she will not want me in the hands of the local police. So, we better find out what's in the principal's office first. Ooh. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Well, you kind of did. Come on. To be quite honest. Let's not go that way. Let's go to Miss Grant's and take a picture of that aquarium. Can we open the door? Awesome. <laughs> I know just what I want. Max takes shit selfie. I never said they were shitty selfie. Control. Well then. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Yes. Turn on the Please. aquarium. Now take a nice photo. That's artsy. Nifty. Nice work. All right, what's next? Cigarettes, death, bird. <laughs> it's probably more of Chloe biz with her smoking habits and all that. <laughs> I love this music. Exam file. Only a B minus. Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm. Barely God damn it, Warren. How could you? A diagram. It's intestines. <laughs> periodic table. A periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. Oh, I bet you know. You know, because you're a girl. Right? Da Vinci was a boss. <laughs> you know, that's weird. My freaking. The camera is like facing, it's like controlling the light, but she's just facing her camera forward. So that's kind of strange to me, you know. Oh man, now I feel like exploring the other rooms. Oh my god, what's with all of these pages? Ah. Dear diary, I have the power to rewind time and I ended up on a rooftop trying to stop my friend from jumping off while trying to prevent the possible destruction of my hometown. I fell asleep at my desk and woke up reaching out to rewind or grab Kate. Remember when my journal entries were about which anime character I wanted to be, or my dreams of being a respected, globe-hopping photographer, or what me and Gloria would be doing when we are finally adults. At least we know how that turned out so far. Chloe's determined to get to the bottom of what's going on, so I've been playing What Would Chloe Do? Which means blowing off my Mac Blackwell homework to research everything I can find on Kate March, Rachel Amber, and the esteemed Prescotts. It'd be too easy peasy if they were all connected, but at this point, I think the whole town of Arcadia Bay is connected to this crazy shit. I could already see my the story on National's job for channel. Bah! Mystic, scientific, or apocalyptic. That Arcadia Bay tornado. Shudder. Speaking of fear, I still think about Kate and the sadness in her eyes on that roof. I'm so grateful she's alive. I love seeing 
students at Blackwell show their support for the gift for her with gifts and flowers finally at least I feel better now that Nathan's suspended it's good he's off campus for a few days I hope and like I give a shit if the Prescott family sends a team of lawyers after me please I doubt they would like all the publicity I doubt their tentacles reach into the rest of Oregon not yet anyway leave it to Chloe to make me sneak out past her review and the man I meet her in front of the main building in the dead of night I knew Chloe would be all over investigating the campus this after what happened to Kate here. This just makes Chloe more desperate to find out what happened to Rachel, if anything. Alright, that's enough. Because, you know, the episode's almost over. <laughs> or the part's almost over, I should say. Yeah, let's get out of here. Did I even close the other door? I don't think I can go in here. It has to be locked. Oh, it's not locked. Contest pictures. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer said Mac, the art critic. <laughs> cigarette pack. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Maybe this is the photo. Nah, I doubt it. Hmm. There is not much in here. <laughs> Man, being in, like, in school, like, after dark is just the most amazing thing ever. Like, just with all the lights off and everything, it's, it's just amazing. Yeah. And the vending machine is, like, the only thing on. The bathroom. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Yes. It will be a good thing to tell the children. Alright, let's let's go and see Chloe. 